ஸ்ரீவித்யா நமக டுடே we are going to discuss a new chapter 5 in this chapter we are going to discuss why do we start the file handling what are the different types of your file handling how do we open and close a file and how we are going to read and write into the file and some of the standard input output and error strings a file handling is a mechanism by which we can read data or this files in python program or write their data from python program to this file that is we are going to create a file in that file through your python program you are going to read the contents and write the contents into the file so so for in our python program the standard input is coming from the keyboard and the output is going to the monitor right so know where the data is stored permanent and enter data is permanent as long as the program is running but file handling allows us to store data entered to through the pro python program permanently in the disk file later we can read or write back the data so normally when you are executing a python program you got the through your standard input that is through your keyboard and monitor we started processing the program but the data doesn't get saved anywhere so once the program execution is over it is the program is that is till the program is present the data will be present otherwise the data will be lost but for in file handling through your python program you are going to store the data permanently in this file later you can read or write data into this file what is a file a file is a document that is used to store data on a permanent storage devices like hard disk and thumb drive normally a file is used to store the contents the file input and output operations transfer the data from your secondary memory that is your hard disk and main memory and vice versa that is the transfer of data will happen from ram to hard disk and back from hard disk to ram what is a file a file is a stream or a sequence of characters data occupying a named place on the disk where the sequence of related data is stored that is through the program that is the user used to give some data the data is which is transferred or which is stored in your hard disk to a sequence of characters and a named place will be given in your hard disk with a file name dot py extension and the data gets stored in that file permanently so how do we use a file what is the main purpose that is through your python program whatever program that you are executing the data is not being saved to save your data a file need to be attached to the pen external file that is in your hard disk so whatever the contents that you are writing through your file gets that is through your program gets saved into the file in your hard disk then if the data that you needed for retrieval you can retrieve the data back to your python program by reading the file we have three operations one is the first thing is you have to first you have to open the file and you can perform the operations in the file like read or write and many other operations or the processing of data should be done in your file then you have to close that file 
these are some of the processing of a file you can create a file you can traverse for the displaying data on the screen that is step by step you can process a appending adding contents inserting again adding contents deleting the contents in the file create a new copy of the file and updating your file these are some of the process that you can do in a file yeah we have two different types of your yeah, files one is your yeah, text file the other one is your yeah, binary file a file whose contents can be used using a text editor which is nothing but a notepad or a text editor we call it as a text file a text file stores information in the form of ascii or unicode characters like a sequence of characters a text file consists of sequence of lines it may consist of many lines each line of the text is terminated by a special character which we call it as eol or end of line by default the eol character is a new line character which is represented as backslash n internal translations takes place when eol character is read or written which means all your text files that is you are storing a file in the form of text where the text cannot be understand by your computer so once a new line character has been encountered the internal translations will take place in your text file so it will take more time to process in your text file python program contents written in text editors for some of the exam it may be .txt rtf or csv these are different forms of your text files the second type is binary file a binary file store data in the same way as stored in the memory so it need not do any internal translation it doesn't need so exe files mp3 files or image files or word documents or some of the examples of your binary files there is no delimiter because the contents is being stored as in the form of memory so that's why you don't want any internal translations to be taken in your binary files binary files are faster and easier for programs to read and write then your text file because as you don't have any internal translations so it is faster and easier when compared to your text file so here you can notice that a text file is stored in a normal general format of your uh, notepad whereas in your binary file the uh, contents are being stored in the form where it will be stored like a in memory how it gets stored in a memory the same way the binary files get stored whereas in your text file a normal readable documents like that the file gets stored thank you children